Hey everyone, it's Chris. I'm excited to bring you guys a new series. But first, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'm going to play out a dynasty with the Miami Hurricanes beginning with the 2020 rosters. And one of the things that's exciting about these college games is the recruiting. And the baseball game is no different. So let's take a look at recruiting and see who's interested in the Hurricanes in the top 100. Look here, we got six guys that are interested in Miami. John Sonier, the number two ranked guy in the country out of Illinois. We definitely need to make him a priority. I like that. I kind of just want, let's, you know, should we just start with phone calls and, and make sure we get, looks like we got 150 points. It's 20 points for a phone call. But I kind of want to see what the other guys have. This is very interesting. Do, do we go for all, all at one or do we dis distribute the points evenly? Mike Knorr there. Jeff Todroff, a junior college guy out of Michigan. Doug o Ostrander, 31st overall prospect out of Arkansas. Grant O'Day here, right fielder from New York. It's interesting, it shows the attitude and academics and see if there's any special needs. And, and this guy right here, Tim De La Osa out of Nebraska. Could be a tough pull to get guys out of the state there, but John Sonia, I really like this guy. Look at this guy left-handed pitcher you know what I'm thinking let's just get him going uh, have him visit the school and see if we can boost up his interest level right from the jump and then we'll, we'll get to the other ones later uh, I'm really excited I'm curious how this is gonna go I played this game before I can't remember playing out a whole season um, but one thing that with the recruits and here's other recruits looking at these guys that we might target Michael Hannon so, uh, but what's interesting is some of the guys have a little um, no notification by their name uh, that says draft buzz. So I wonder if it's like in real life with college baseball recruiting where maybe you get him to sign, but maybe he goes to the draft. So maybe I should be a little cautious with, with Sonia there because he's the number two overall prospect and that would be very unlikely. Oh, here we go. Ryder Porter. Finally found a guy out of Florida. I need to make him a top priority. He's the number... 109th overall prospect in the country. There's Ron Moran out of Minnesota there. But yeah, Ryder Porter. I, I like this. I want to make him a priority. I've already used my points, but definitely want to go after him. Switch hitter. Uh, you got to like the, the versatility there. Here's some goals. Um, looks like some season goals I need to hit to, to get better. With the scouting there, you see scouting. It says poor. Some challenge items. This is this is fun. So we can get better bats and gloves. Uh, facilities. I like that one. Um, I think we just we just wait on emails to see um, how we do on those. Um, very curious how this is gonna go. Oh, first series against Minnesota. Look at that. We can't change we can't change the schedule. They just give you the schedule. It's not like uh, basketball or football games where you get to pick your own schedule. So Minnesota is who we're starting off with. We've got TCU, Notre Dame, Tennessee's got some good players. Minnesota, that's my alma mater, guys. This is this is a little uh, little torn here. So we got we're starting off seventh in the preseason polls. I like the team. Obviously, uh, I used to, you know, I tried to go with the ratings. I didn't want to boost them too much, uh, but obviously Miami had good players this year. Um, I, but yeah, I used the 2020 rosters. Uh, it's all the real players. I really want to get into this. This is all, this is something you wouldn't see where Miami goes to Minnesota in February. Wouldn't see that very often. So we've got Van Bell, McMahon, Sacconi, McFarland, Kaiser, a lot of good guys. There's the lineup, guys. We're going to Van Bell to start it. Hello, here it is. So, yeah, I'll let you guys just here look here. Animations. Thanks, Mike. It's great to be with but with, with this um, with this game, if you haven't the seen it before, this is the last the one. Um, the last college baseball game. They actually did two series uh, made by EA Sports. This one's called MVP NCAA Baseball 07. Uh, it's got Weaver on the front, but. Uh, yeah, the, it was really interesting that they came out with this game and did it twice, and I thought that this, they did a good job with the this game here. Yeah, Jordan Lala up to bat, but what's it, what's cool about this game is the uh, the stadiums. The there's the I think there's 16 um, the like real life stadiums, and and, so um, and then they have way. a you know a good handful of uh, other ones that you can choose from. So you're not always playing if they don't have one of the 16 or so. Uh, you can you can play, you can kind of mix those Slices ones up. So we're gonna go. With, this one's called Inner Harbor Field, so we're going to do this one here. But 
Getting off to a slow start. 0-2 count. Fastball See, it's got the indicator the there. I laid off that missed. one. They're hard, though, because they've got different colors for what kind of pitches is coming. It's a oh, shallow that would, that one. This a could be extra Taking bases. A drop. Oh, there's a drop. That's a way to start off the season. He's on a little bloop single. single to left field, opposite Number way is in right for field Jordan today. Mala. He'll bat eight. There's our guys right there. That's a lineup. Hey, and if you guys Number are following, obviously, if next. you have suggestions or guys you want to see in the lineup, the um, either guys the off the bench or, or maybe you want to mix it up. And, up it and throw. You know, we don't have to. I just did kind of the Number default like um, on with, with the, the lineup. But if you guys want to mix things up and, Let's hey, try this, you know, like Zamora, for example, you know, do you like him in the three hole? Do you want him to lead off? You know, Lala obviously did it. Yeah, we got some more in this season. I know. Oh, that's a way to start it off. He tried to, he tried to throw that cheese inside. Smoked it for a home run. I like the start to the season, guys. This is great. But like I said, this is going against my alma mater. I'll talk about the Gophers in a little bit. But yeah, look at this. That's a great start for Zamora. A home run but yeah I wanted him in the game obviously he had the season ending injury but we you know video Number game we got to put him in for the season in. and let it play out and uh, that's definitely a good this start hit Del Castillo dead center field. the center fielder with that's a, a nice good hit job. you like the ping he off the bat the you don't hear that and obviously in the the other games action in the um, bullpen oh, they're already warming up a guy warm. so yeah so most of the players on the opposite teams Number are just names but I'll, I'll go ahead and customize some of the teams and um, that I play against. But uh, but yeah, they're all just generated names in there. This ball's headed There's for Terrell. The gap is that going to drop? Center. There we go. This is a good start to the season, guys. I like this. But yeah, that is the more. That was that was tough to hear him uh, go down right before the the beginning of the season. But yeah, you know, Zamora's a guy, you know, do you lead him off or just keep with Jordan Lala? Like, I'm open to anything. Just make sure you comment in this. There's the fourth, Put a common in there. And, oh, <laughs> look at that. Throwing the ball all over the field there. So that this is, like I said, error. this is a good start. I like where this is going. Seeing the guys here, you know, J.P. Gates with the elbow Wait. guard. And, and, and maybe I'll, I'll tweak some of the, the batting stances as I, I kind of take ball. a look at it as the season goes on. Man, this is a great start. So just for you guys to know, I, I'm playing on the sophomore rating. Uh, it's freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. In. Um, I kind of, based on what I was reading uh, online, I think the sophomore rating is kind of like a good start. Or uh, it's not super easy, but the jump from sophomore to junior is pretty noticeable. But you know, if I need to adjust it, I will. I, I don't want to be, you know, blowing everybody out uh, where it's too easy. That, that's not the video you guys want to see. You want to see me grind through some games, you know, take some losses, bounce back. You know, injuries and suspensions are in this game. It's Brian Van Bell. Yeah, we got, got, got the good change up. I was reading a scouting report that uh, from Perfect Game that checked him out earlier this year, and they said he had one of the best change ups in the country. So definitely had to give him a good rating right there. He'll be batting um, third in ben the Bell, though, came back for his senior year after winning 10 games as a junior. And uh, I know they were excited to next. have him. Uh, he's a pitching mechanics there. Swings over the top of fastball. I like that. I like that. I'll, I'll get used to this pitching stuff, got, but I want to get this good start. Got the 3-0 lead here in the first inning. Swings Off to a good start. Fastball. So yeah, Minnesota, guys. That's where I went to school. Uh, most some of you guys know that and, and whatnot, but uh, man, I can't believe they're really. It's it's really funny that they're playing Minnesota here to start it off. So Great I actually worked for, for the Minnesota three. baseball nice team job by the catcher to when I was in school for one season. Uh, you know, just. I, I looked Miami at that, you know, I, it wasn't a guy, you know, I, I didn't study oh, journalism infield, and all those really. things. And, a lot of guys um, that are just good you know, when I, you know, I didn't know great. this is what I wanted to do to They're be a journalist. Uh, so when I was in school, I, you know, I like sports, obviously just a big sports fan. And um, I actually, one of my, you know, I had a number of part-time jobs um, when I was in college. I, there was one time, you know, for a while I was working four jobs at once and um, just different jobs and just spending a lot of time working and one of the jobs I had was working for stats Inc now it's called stats LLC um, and I was you know I was watching games um, on TV and recording stats at home or in my dorm room um, to keep up with you know game cast and things like that that obviously it's really popular now back then it was kind of 
fairly new Ace and I was inserting the stats in and all my you know I was getting Number paid per game and a lot of my friends thought it was so bagger. cool um, and, and it was it was Number great I ended up working for them for 10 next. years like I moved around and I always uh, kind of stuck with them until I started writing more and, and things like that but anyways I'm bringing that up because you know I I was interested in college I was a big college baseball fan um, you know I graduated from Minnesota you know but my first year my freshman year I went to Wichita State and one of the things you know without a football program one of the things that was really cool there was the baseball program and my friends and I we went to um, college baseball games all the time uh, we, we kind of all weekend we'd just kind of hang out there the home games and they had a really good team at the time so I had a lot of fun so I was always I've always been a, I like this guys I'm gonna get back to my story but look at me I like these home runs from the jump. Freddie Zamora again. Well, coming up Guys, this spot, is great to see. Do it any better than this. Two outs, he was throwing it up, and so I, I thought I could go the opposite right way. Uh, that's good. But yeah, yeah, look at that. Five RBIs two already for Freddie. Two home runs to start off the season. I know he would have liked to do this in real life, you know, without that injury. But, uh, but yeah, going Number back. So college baseball, uh, I just decided to kind of reach out to the Minnesota program and um, I, I told them in that the it, I, I just kind of looking back I can't believe I even did all this but uh, I told them that I had experience working for stats and just That's anything I could do to out. help one of those kind of things and the pitching coach Todd Oaks at the time uh, he responded we'll favorably and said you know we've actually reached out to a company um, to do some stuff and uh, the company was called Inside Edge, uh, which at the time, this was the first year that they were going to do college baseball scouting. And so I helped out by recording pitch locations There's and all that stuff. It Look at that. Long, That's gone, too. Long. Yeah, this is a great start. I like the ting off the bat. Alex Terrell had a huge season last year. Getting the 2020 him, season going on our game. Off right. For a no -doubter home run. I like that. This is a great start. Um, but, yeah, so Coach Three Oaks, like, brought me in. And I remember meeting Coach John, head coach John Anderson. And I was just a college student. I, I didn't know what I was doing. and But they brought me in. And, and Coach Anderson was great and uh, allowed me to help out the team for a season. And I had a lot of fun. Basketball and misses. the team started off rocky that year. And then they go on and they, they win the Big Ten Championship. And uh, they actually were one of those teams, you know, There's won the regular season but didn't get into the miss. NCAA tournament. Just a heartbreaking thing. Um, I remember, you know, just being there at the selection show. And uh, well, just it's really one. tough to see. You see a lot of the positives when you watch those selection shows around the country. For every, you know, basketball, same way. But just that heartbreaking reality of when Pulls you don't get in. And um, it's strike. just, you know, the, the season ending – um, that way is just just tough but yeah I had a lot of fun um, covering Number the team and I in. felt like it was such a, a big thing for me because it that was something where it helped um, my mentality in terms of wanting to be a journalist and um, you know I started writing for a this website that, that's not right. even around anymore I was writing stuff on the Minnesota Number Timberwolves and when I moved to Miami um, I didn't have a job or anything, but I had graduated. So my friend and I, we just moved to Miami to move. And I had reached out to um, out. The, the Canes Time website at the time and just kind of offered to, to kind of oh, cover the down. team in the off season there. I'd touched on that before, but, but yeah. The and one of the things I said was I worked the with the Minnesota baseball team and I felt like they got everything that I, I've been able to do in, in terms of opportunities of and, and things like that, um, kind of goes back to this Minnesota baseball program. So, I skipped ahead, guys. Um, I don't, I didn't, I didn't want this to get too long. Coach but we are in a tough spot he here. To we down. lost the lead. I messed up on offense, base running errors, pitching got a little weak, and so I. To we still got the lead here. There's a bunt. But it's uh, it's six to five. I I brought Makes out the, the pitching coach. Then Bell wasn't having it. So we are in a bind here. So we get we get the out there, but it's bottom of the six with one out. In the air to left. Oh, I probably should have went with the strikeout. The I mean, that's good to get the out, but now it's going to be tied on the sack fly. The sacrifice fly drives in a and, run. But, yeah, and, and I'll get back to some stories. But, yeah, we, we can get back right into this game here. So 
I didn't want to show every. I don't want to show like every inning um, of the game of the dynasty. I think that might um, be a little long, guys. Just to be honest with you, so I'm gonna skip ahead a few times um, and try to show you more. And we're just gonna see how it goes. If you want to see every play. Oh, that's Got a shaky the throw. Got the out. Great play by so we're just going to skip ahead a few times and, and see how it goes. Over the edge. So we here we are in the bottom of the eighth. We lost the lead. Here it is. We lost the lead. Bottom of the eighth. It's seven to six. Runners on. Swung on and missed. We got the Jake Garland on the, the mound. Uh, freshman there. He was a guy that the coaching staff really liked. So I, again, I'm in another bind. I do not want to take a loss to start the season. I know it's my alma mater. I know I worked for the Minnesota baseball program, but I am doing this video for you guys. The Miami Hurricanes are the team I am rolling with in the dynasty, and I want to give you guys a good season. It's the Inside the U YouTube channel, InsideTheU.com. You guys know all of that. So the I want to give you good stuff, and here we are in the top of the ninth. I need to, to get this thing going. I, this I, like the, the bats went quiet. I was doing well right. early, hitting home runs, two by Zamora, one by Terrell, and now I can hitter. barely hit the it's ball. The oh, there was a right. base hit. Oh, and right by the right fielder. That's the break I needed. I don't know what he was doing. Go three. Oh. See, I was He's a little shaky earlier in the game. The runner moves I should have more runs, so I'm Nobody trying to be out. real conservative on the base pass. Plus, it's the ninth inning. We've got Tony Jenkins hey, up to bat here. Run. I need to tie hey, the game. Let's go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get down. And it was All right, there we go. Run. I needed that. That ties Number it. We still have no outs. Jenkins has good today. speed. You see the, the cleat there. Nope. Indicator at first base. Over what in the world? Out. How did he make that, that play? I thought it was a double bullpen. play, and then he, he did a two somersault the there. So here's Zamora. Oh, he's on deck. We got Villar up right now. I need to warm up some guys. Yeah, I definitely am curious who you think I should play more or play less, that kind of thing. Play more one is on, really what out. I want to hear. Get on the I don't need to be short. overly critical. <laughs> It's oh, in man. time for the out. That will be a fielder's choice. At least Ball they're not turning two. Is on. Got, yeah, here's the more. Top of the ninth. We've got two, two outs. Gone. It's tied at seven. Hard Did hit. he get another a one? Long fly ball. Oh, I thought side is I didn't hit it great, but the way it looked. So again, we're skipping ahead. Quietly, one, two, three. That is the end of the 12th inning. We're still tied at seven, guys. See, this is why... I need to skip ahead sometimes because you do not want to watch me struggle on both sides of the field here. And so we are in the 13th inning. This is not what I expected. I thought this was going to be a fairly easy game because I got out to that early lead. They don't have a good rating and it was looking good for me. But now we are in the 13th inning in a dogfight to rally. That's what we needed to start the off the 13th inning. Oh, it's only a single? He's on oh, with a single. I needed a double out of that to start it off. We need to get this win. Let's see if Raymond Gill can come through. High fastball, couldn't oh. catch up with it. That's tough. Yeah, it looks bad when you miss. It looks super late on that. But, and this was. It's a shallow right. Is that going to fall? I think that's going to fall. Yeah, there we go. Get the third. There we go. The this is looking is good. Just to take the lead. I don't care game. how it number happens. I don't care how ugly it looks. Hitting. We just need to get the lead. And we need to get the win. To start off the season on 1-0. And, and, oh. and then we'll regroup. With a fast and ball. see what we did wrong. And just take... I, I wouldn't say take it more seriously. I was taking this seriously. I just thought I was going to be able to roll. It's I've a got the good lap. ratings. That's definitely going to drop if it stays fair. And there we go. JP score. Gates with the double. Here's the long throw. Just a lollipop down the line. I like that. The sophomore is on with an RBI double. Some, Runners move taking to out the pitcher. We got the 8-7 lead. Eight we to need to seven. build on this. The Golden Gophers are making a substitution. We need Number to get this is going to come seven in runs. As a it's a good move by the mail, but I can't worry about all the runs I gave up. We just have to worry about getting the win here yeah you see the three errors 
making some moves. I got to get, there we go. Got to get Fetterman warming up, ready for the bottom of the 13th to get the save. 0-2. Oh, oh, I got to lay off that. It's hard. You, you see, yeah, it looks late on a, a circle change there, but I, I, I have to get used to the hitting here. Hit on the ground oh. toward the hole. See. Over to first and on to first. For the got end. another run. That's run good. I was in. worried he wasn't going to go home, but... So we're up nine to seven. Jenkins up again. We got one out. If we can get a base hit here. Is that gonna drop? No, that's gonna go foul. I was getting those those balls to drop right down the line. In the air down is the right gonna, field. That might, drop. that might drop. Oh, there it is. I needed that. It's gonna get two. There we go. So we got another run. Ten to seven. Now we're going to the, the top of the order. I like RBI this. Double. This has been a grind, though. I, I don't know if I can handle this. I can, 13 innings to come out this season. And an it looks like they'll walk give him an intentional Lala. walk here. Uh, brings it up to Villar. Villar's a guy I, I, I'm thinking I want to move. Maybe I'll move him up and down the lineup. Is that going to drop also? Foul. Man, these slices. These opposite field slices are nice in this game. 0-2. I can't believe we, we're starting off our season on the road. You just don't see, you would not see that from Miami. And back when they were independent, they're not in this game, but when they were independent, well, they had a ton play. of home games to start off their season. And really throughout the season, just they scheduled a ton of home games. Let's get another base hit. There's a fly that ball should in the drop. center. Makes oh, the catch. Man. The throw God, to I second. hit it well. Has some more up next. So yeah, ten to seven. Feeling good. Need to get this win. Now just close away. it out. Oh, I would have liked that. Even if it tagged the wall. But yeah, Number I think 44. you guys are gonna like Mark Lightfield seeing that in this game when Hit we get home. Right. That's definitely dropping. Maybe. Ooh, right inside the, the line. Throw. Number two is on with the single, and there's two. That's good. Can we add more? 11 to 7. We just need to get this win. Move on to next week or tomorrow's well game. So it's interesting. I, I was kind of glancing at the schedule a little bit. And, Swung through uh, the fastball. This game, at instead, the you know, there's a lot of two game series uh, on the weekends, some three when we get to conference play. There's a few midweek no games, not, not a lot. It's kind of different than the. Oh, that was, that was tough. Going for the Miami straight. So we, here we are, 11-7. We've got two outs in bottom of 13. Runners on the corners. Fetterman up here. Near the stands, he might have a play. This and that's the ball game. Okay. We got the win, guys. Like I said, I know it wasn't pretty. I know it wasn't the start you guys were necessarily hoping for, but we did put up 11 runs. We hit three bombs. 20 hits, got to cut down on the errors, and giving up seven runs in 18 hits is unacceptable. And we need to be better on, on pitching and on our defense. And I will work on that to get better. Exactly what we saw tonight. And in the end, so this is a two-game series battles. for the weekend. And I'd like to go ahead and get through these two Kyle games Peterson for you guys. So long and uh, hopefully EA start 2-0. Uh, that'd be a great start for NCAA us and, and just kind of baseball. build on that. Thanks for playing, everybody. Have a good day. So here we go. Let's go right, right into the second game of the season. I'm going to go with Chris McMahon. Heavy fastball. So that's interesting. The energy level for Del Castillo is a 79%. I had forgotten that they're going to keep track of that. Game, because he caught uh, caught all 13 Peterson. innings, I left him in there the whole time. Uh, he's only down the to he's down to 79%. So I wonder, he will he should be fine for this game. But and I definitely think it might be something game. I'll have to monitor if there's a lot of games in a row. Just like in real misses. life, you know, you so can't run underway. your catcher out there a bunch of games in a row. But we have... Jared Thomas on the bench, the freshman out of California. Get him some starts. On the and always the Isaac Canonis. He's there to too. That's in time for the out. So we are going for this two-game sweep here to start the season. I need to be better though. I do not want to play 13 innings. Paints the inside edge. And I don't want to be down late. I needed late runs to, to get it back into the game to keep the game going. I do not need that stress Rounder for the right. second game. On to first. I'd like to just That's make this easy. For the out. Number 51 is patrolling but just because field. it's what I want He'll to do doesn't ninth. mean it's going to happen. So we Number just need to worry about each at-bat, get base hits. 
Uh, try to go for extra base hits when we can. Here's a routine fly ball. Uh, there's it's Zamora a one, had the big two, three opening inning. game with the two home runs. Like I said, Terrell hit one. There's Chris McMahon, number the number seven, seven jersey. Next. Gotta go fastballs with him here. 89 miles an hour. This game, even though he's got a high fastball rating, uh, and, and you can, like the velocity, but on the game, it doesn't, uh, in games, it doesn't always show. Like, I want him to hit 95. It just doesn't happen. So it looks like we're going to be working high 80s. Maybe I can hit 90s with them. Uh, but like I said, just because his rating is really high in a fastball and velocity doesn't mean he's going to be pumping 95. There's the soft line drive at That's the nice second play. baseman. Now that is a Rawlings gold glove catch. play. Ooh, nice backhand by the Villar. Take a look at our defense. The Hurricanes here. have an outfield that compares favorably with most other clubs. Pretty solid. You know, it's an outfield you know, that's solid all around. Obviously, you know, and Zamora struggled uh, games, last season. It won't lose you uh, many either. Way too many errors, and I hope that Hit doesn't show up in the baseman. game. But they don't have. High, I didn't Two give them the high inning. fielding ratings on the game. I want to try to make it as realistic as possible. I know that some of the hitting stats are a little. Or the ratings a are a little. Ball. Strong and over the show. A lot of these guys have good years, so, and you know, Miami was a top 10 team this season. So, here we go. We're up 1 0, going to the top of the third. Lala with a solid base hit up, up the, middle. the middle. You know, and Miami was ranked number one number at one point. Is you know, they had that single. tough series against the Gators. I'm looking to get revenge on the Gators this season. We play them in the, the, in the non conference schedule. I already looked ahead to start off in March. But we need to get through the February 1st, build up a single. good record, figure out our pitching, make sure we have the right lineup, and definitely be on point with our defense before we a face the Gators in a huge first. series that I know you guys will be excited for here. Del Castillo. Oh, we got runners on second and third. One out here in the third. Let's see if I can drive him in. Yes, I do. I, I like that hit right there up the, the middle. The That's all right. We got one run. It would have been nice to get both runs in. But I understand. And now we got Terrell, so it's 2 0. Runners at first and third. This one's down the left field. Is that line. that another lollipop down the line? Going to drop? There it and is. It will score a run. Those slicing lollipops just get in. I like that about this game. Two run score on I the like double. that everything's not it's just super clean. Nothing. But I'm getting used to the ping of the bats. He drills oh, it deep. Like that and one. And it's gone. A I, home I had run. to take advantage of trying to go with the power swing with Raymond Gill, and it worked out. They tried to sneak one by him, and he puts a there great swing on it. Ripped out for a no doubter home yeah, run. I had to go power swing there. I'm trying to sneak in the power swings when I can, but... I don't want to That's be doing a lot of pop-ups, so game. it's a tough balance, just like in real life. So I'm going to try to mix it up, though. I want to hit home runs, but Coach is on I need to be smart of when to, needs to, to go for it here. The sophomore is up next. So 6-0 in the top of the third. We are rolling. I need to lock High it down, though. Like I said, I do it. not want to lose the lead. I do not want to play 13 innings this game. I want to keep this thing going, limit them as much as possible. Grounder to the right side. I feel good with Chris McMahon Two down on the, the mound. Inning. Action in the bullpen. The, a little bit. the Golden yeah. Gophers are making a substitution. Gabriel Number 26 is going here. to come in as a reliever. Still in the third good inning. Good move by the manager. Probably time oh, for man. a fresh yard. I wish I could have that one back. I was on it, but just missed it. I thought I could have poked that one in the right in the gap and center right. Here's a fly ball. Kind of like that, but that was, and I wanted to right drill that last one there. You know, on a line drive. So here we are in the fifth inning now. Raymond Gill There's back a fly up to bat. Very well. Is that really going to go? It's a oh my goodness. It barely, <laughs> it barely went over. I thought that might have been a they fly out. Then they I was thinking, okay, right well, maybe it'll hit the, the wall. Part. Short porch to right. This one carries just beyond the fence. The announcer Sometimes just you right. don't have to get it two all. Home That's runs for Gill. A big day for him. His second homer in this game. I like this. It's Zamora two and two bombs in the first game. Gill two blasts in the second game. This is a good start with our home run hitters. It's 8-0 in the fifth. I have the there we go. I have the setting for ten for the mercy rule, which is ten runs. Uh, I, That's a one -out I, I think it's after five innings, 
Uh, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's after seven, but we're gonna. I I would like to just end it early, and I know maybe some of you would like to see all nine innings again. He's on with a thirteen, but I, I'm gonna try to get through these games. Um, show you most of it. But let's get let's it's get this going. Right. Let's get ten runs in the fifth. Let's close them out. Let's see if that is the run rule. I, I'm That's I'm pretty sure I have the setting on. That's a metal. I'd have to check. Number two. I don't know if I could check in game, but I remember I I liked that idea when I saw it when I was setting the up the infield. rules. So that there we go. Oh, that might get another run. The edge of his glove. The fielder yeah, they're, comes they're up with it and throws. There. It's not perfect, Number you know, 20. that, it, I, I like that about this game, you know, it's uh, college, you know, the defensive players in college, Best it's not the show, you know, it's not Major League Baseball, these guys are not perfect, and you're seeing that here in these first couple of games, missing fly balls, missing timed it, uh, he just Ground ball overran towards it, second. is that getting through, there we go, yeah, the let's just close this out. Try to score. Number 27 Let's get on with this game. With Let's get on with this second. series. 11 to 0. Yeah, and they were, their ranking was this not very good. Right I don't know if it was like trouble. 100th or something like Makes that. The grab so they don't have a ton two. of good players. So Action we should be able bulk. to, to do well Gophers against them and get off the good start. I like this. This the is good. This is a much better performance than the first game. I want to do so well with Del Castillo. Just because he, he's such a good player. and I think he was going to have a really good season this year. Oh, no. I, I'm just pressing. You know, I, I see two guys on base. Look at me. I'm way late on the swing. I think that was a sinker there. But just really late. Okay, lay off inside. that. I need to lay Change off the bad misses. pitches. Um, it's tough because I'm. I want to be super aggressive, especially with guys on One base. Two. Hit out That's to a center. good hit. That'll drop. Who's gonna get a triple out of that? So Del Castillo's got the speed icon. I need to take that off. He's. Got, he's a catcher. He does not have the speed, so I need to make Swung sure I get that down back in. down uh, to more of an average speed. Uh, he should not be able to get a triple uh, off that, but so we a need to make. We, like I said, I want to make adjustments throughout the season. I want to try to be as accurate as possible. Like I said, I want maybe with the wrist, even with like the, the elbow the guards. And, oh, that was a That's bad a great right job of so 13-0. Three balls, no but strikes. we are in the sixth. So Grounders the run rule is not after five field. innings. That I thought it I. was. The fielder comes maybe up it's, with like it I said, maybe it's seven. But I messed up. I gave up a bunch of runs, not paying Hit attention. And here we are having to and play more innings than yet. I wanted to. It is 13 to five. I got Spencer Bodanza on the mound. Hit out to right. But I was the trying to get the 10 it. run and rule, the and then out of the it just game. didn't work out. But we got the win, guys. So we're 2 0. I had to Hurricanes, play out the rest of the game the Minnesota because I was Gophers giving up runs. With tonight's loss, I think it's after Golden seven Gophers innings, and I'm going to need to check that. Two, but either way, whatever it is, I need really to make sure I close out games. Again, giving up way too many hits. But I like that we scored 13 runs. We had 19 hits. So that's the start of our season we're 2-0 I'm going to bring back MVP another video for you guys NCAA very soon baseball. we're going to look at the everybody. recruits I want to hammer into those other recruits but here it is make sure you, you follow inside the U on Twitter go to inside the U.com check out the the rest of the YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching